Here he is. The man, the myth, the legend. Monk was kind of cute. I wonder what kind of man he was. Is there more to this picture than meets the eye? He paints himself as brooding, aching, and anxious. He also seemed like a quiet and observant painter. It's quite attractive. Someone once called him the most beautiful man in Norway. <sighs> Did he enjoy all the admirers, the flirtations, the love affairs? Monk has written literary texts connected to the scream. He writes, My friends walked on. I stayed behind, quaking with angst. I felt a great scream in nature. Oh, he must have felt so much anxiety when he painted the scream. He wasn't in the right mind for romance at the time. Was he really such a neurotic drunkard? You ask me if I'm nervous. I have gained six pounds and have never been better. So Monk was actually perfectly fine? Ah, like celebrities, he understood the power of his own image. The rejected lover, the loner. Monk understood how people saw him. He didn't necessarily live through all the experiences he painted, but maybe there's a grain of truth in some of them. So he never got married. He once said his paintings were his children. So art was his true love. Have I been fooled into thinking he was any other way? As Edvard Munch himself once said, like a ghost, I leave you.